The plates and friction material now come together. This is achieved using our patented vulcanization pressing system, a process validated as OE standard and is almost fully automated. After loading the spray glued back plates onto the press feed conveyor, they proceed to the pressing head. They are held by the press head and driven downwards onto the dies. These are filled with the correct quantity of mixed formula and pressed at high pressure, making a firm bonding to the back plate. The head retracts and the formed brake pads advance to the exit conveyor. The die is then cleaned in preparation for the next pressing. The pads are then cured in a high temperature oven. Up to this point, all pads have followed the exact same process. It is only now the products are separated for marking either as original equipment or aftermarket. Both are marked with a batch number for trackability and then packed accordingly. This flexible production process allows for a very short lead time of only 31 minutes to the manufacture of any pad. Products in the organic offering range from scooter, designed as OE for today's high-performance scooters where safety is the priority. Platinum, the number one performing compound for high-performance road use, incorporating technology gained from Ferodo's World Racing Program. DRC 393, DRC or dirt racing compound offers benefits perfectly suited for competitive off-road use by professionals, ideal for dry or desert conditions. CP911, the world champion. From the demands of the Isle of Man TT to the circuits of World Superbike, our organic racing pad has provided the performance and modulation required by the world's best riders. Sintered pad manufacture. Our unique process adopts the same rigorous materials quality and production checking as our organic range. But unlike the organic products, the varied back plates are coated with copper, which will bond with the all metal mixture. The compound consists of metal powders, abrasives, and lubricants, automatically mixed until homogeneous. It is batch checked for any signs of loose density before being dispensed into containers at plus or minus half a percent of the predefined weight. The dyes are then prepared with the copper back plates positioned at the base. The mix is then dosed into the cavities. Prepared dyes travel to the oven where sintering takes place. This process involves the dye being pressed at high temperature in a vacuum with inert gas, causing a diffusion of metals between the copper of the back plate and the powders in the friction material. Dyes are then allowed to cool before the finishing process, which involves slotting and grinding to the desired pad depth. Pads are then stenciled with a batch number and the OE quality mark. Products in the Sintered range are Sinter Grip Road. The world leader in Sinter technology, this road compound is for the rider who requires the best that money can buy. Sinter Grip off-road, the new world leader for ultimate off-road performance. This full metal compound gives maximum response in both wet and dry conditions. All organic and sintered products undergo final OE inspection checks, an extensive examination covering dimensions, shear strength, kraus testing and pad hardness. Consistent quality products produced to the same exacting standards as demanded for original equipment and fitted by the world's leading vehicle manufacturers. Ferodo's market-leading quality products and cutting-edge technology would not be possible without knowledge gained by working at the pinnacle of performance in motorcycle racing. World Superbike.
Silverstone, the UK round of the World Superbike and World Supersport Championship. Frodo Racing is one of the main sponsors of World Superbike. We're also a technical sponsor, providing on-track engineers who work with the leading teams to develop products that give them the advantage on the racetrack. Working closely with these teams allows Ferodo to gather vital race data from onboard computers as bikes are tested during practice sessions. This live telemetry is fed from many sensors on the bikes out on the circuit to our computers back in the garages. Alternatively, this information can be downloaded after the test run. This information is collated and analysed by the engineers, enabling them to assess exactly how well the braking systems and individual parts are performing at every stage of the circuit. Information can then be fed back to the teams so systems can be optimised to maximum advantage. Ferrodo and Honda have worked together for very many years now, even back into the days when I was a rider. And currently today we're still working very closely with Ferrodo on the development of pads and equipment to take us one day to a world championship, also in the very near future. Specially designed brake pads and large braking systems are used in both Superbike and Grand Prix racing. However, in the domain of World Supersport, the machines are restricted to the braking system as supplied for the street bike. The demands made on these systems by the world-class riders are tremendous, and it's the all-important data collected by Ferodo at race circuits that means we can develop the ultimate in friction materials for the World Supersport bikes. Data from races is also investigated further by the research and development team back at Mondovi. It is fed into the dynamometer computers, enabling an exact simulation of lap runs under laboratory conditions, giving deeper analysis of the product. The knowledge gained from this research naturally finds its way into the complete range of products offered by Ferodo. A range of products second to none for original equipment and aftermarket. A world-beating brand with over 100 years experience from a global corporation and in partnership with leading motorcycle manufacturers. This is the pedigree that has led to Ferodo's justifiable position as the first name in brakes. <laughs>